Hello there and welcome to this iMovie tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to use slow-mo and I'll be doing that running iMovie on my iPad mini but it works just as well on the iPhone. So here we are, as you can see I've opened up a project that I've already created. It's only got one clip. I'll just zoom out slightly. That clip is 14.7 seconds, so it's just under 15 seconds. So I'll just play that to you, just to give you an idea of what it looks like in real time. So here we go. So we've got some flags fluttering in a light breeze, and then the camera will slowly pan and tilt down to the beach. So there we go, that's the clip. So that's that. And just to note that I shot this using my iPhone and the iPhone shoots video at 30 frames a second. And the important thing here is that the 30 frames will be, have, a, have a great impact on the quality of the slow-mo that we can use. So um, th this is just showing you what the slow-mo will look like if you shoot regular video using your iPhone. So. To, to actually slow a clip down, you need to highlight it, come down to the bottom here and click the speed tab, and you'll see this little slider. At one end we've got a hare, and the other end we've got a tortoise, and that obviously means fast or slow. By the hare there's a, a, a number, one, uh, and one time, so that just indicates that the clip is playing in real time. So let's just slow the clip down and see what it looks like at two thirds speed. Let's take it back to the beginning, play there. So the clip's playing. The flags look as slightly as if they're running in slow-mo. It's not, it's not desperately obvious, but the pan very much is slow-mo, but it's starting to get a little bit jerky. Uh, and that's because we shot it in 30 frames a second using the camera app on the iPhone. Now what happens is when you shoot something in 30 frames and you slow that down by 50%, what you're doing is you're asking iMovie to make that clip that was one second long at 30 frames a second, you're asking iMovie to make it two seconds long 30 frames a second, so it has to play each frame twice as long, uh, and that does start to get jerky, so that's what makes it look the way it does. And let's, let's look at that again, and let's slow it down to half speed, so there we are at half speed, and let's play the clip again. The flags don't look too bad, they, they do look as if they are in slow-mo now, they're not looking too jerky. Uh, and the pan, let's see the pan. I might just have to move it along. Here we go, here's the pan. But the pan is starting to look very jerky now. Let's come back and then just for fun, let's um, slow it right down to one eighth of its speed. And the flags are looking really jerky. Um, yeah, it almost looks like a series of still images that are just being animated. And let's come down and have a look at the, the, the pan, just zooming out here. Um, let's come out again, play that. And the clip, as you can see, has gone from just under 15 seconds to just under two minutes here. And the pan and the tilt looks really, really jerky. It's, um, it's unusable, I would say. So the way you reset that is you just come back into the, the highlight the clip. You can either um, change the, the speed of the slow-mo, come back to something a bit more acceptable, say half speed, or you can just reset it completely by pressing reset, and now the clip is back to its just under 14 sec uh, just under 15 seconds. Now the way you overcome the, the jerkiness is to shoot at a higher frame rate. The iPhone app won't allow you to shoot any more than 30 frames a second, but you could use um, a third party app where you can increase the frame rate, 
or you could use another camera, say like a GoPro for instance, that will allow you to shoot at 60 frames a second and then you could import the footage into the iPad and the iPhone and edit that within iMovie. And, and the, the, the slow-mo would be a lot smoother. Alternatively, you could use the, um, the slow-mo setting on the camera app and then that would look a lot smoother. But the, the, uh, the slow-mo would be kind of in-baked into the clip. So there we go, that's a quick how to uh, use slow-mo for iMovie. If you have any questions, please leave a comment, but in the meantime, thank you for watching. Please like and share and check out some of my other films.